So I stumbled across an interesting article here from 2015 about Elizabeth Warren, and um, it's pretty pertinent to the current primary. Elizabeth Warren standing as a liberal warrior immune to the influence of big business hasn't stopped her from pushing the interests of major defense contractors back home. This is from Politico. Warren has fought to stop the Army from shifting funds away from a Massachusetts-built communications network to pay for unanticipated costs associated with the war in Afghanistan. She's lobbied for problem-plagued general dynamics, made general dynamics made tactical radios, and she pledged to protect Westover Air Reserve Base from the Budget Acts, all while saying she supports targeted cuts elsewhere. It's a delicate stance in a state where defense giant Raytheon is one of the largest employers and brings in billions of dollars each year in federal contracts. The freshman Democrat from Massachusetts insists she's not running for president, despite a movement to draft her, but if she did and took on frontrunner Hillary Clinton, she'd likely face scrutiny over the way she balanced her populist views with her sometimes penchant for pursuing the well-worn practice of pork barrel politics. Now, let's, let's be clear about something up front here. There's a reason why this article ran. You want to know why this article ran? Because Hillary's people planted it. So, in other words, they were afraid Elizabeth Warren was going to run, and this was a shot across the bow. This was a preemptive warning. This was a, you better not do it, because it's Hillary's race. It's Hillary's nomination. End of story. So, what do they do? They float some stories about, you know, we'll, we'll come after you. This is one of those stories. Oh, you want to come after us and pretend like you're this populist uh, lefty hero? Well, no. How about we talk about your record on foreign policy, and oh, would you look at that? You have a record of helping the military-industrial complex because there are a lot of jobs in Massachusetts tied to the military-industrial complex. So, admittedly, the reason why this story was planted is bullshit Machiavellian politics. But having said that, the facts are what they are, and this is a part of Elizabeth Warren's record that is concerning. And then, to put the cherry on top, she goes on to prove it even further by voting for Donald Trump's massive, massive military budgets. Giant increases to military spending. She votes yes. So out of the one side of her mouth, she talks about how Donald Trump is a Manchurian candidate and Donald Trump is a lunatic who shouldn't be anywhere near that red button. And then at the other side of her mouth, she goes, let's give him more funding for his personal military. Because he is the commander-in-chief. Even if it wasn't Donald Trump, it would be an egregious vote because we don't need more military spending. We spend more than the next 10 biggest nations combined, and most of them are our allies. But when you add the fact that Donald Trump is, he is the one in charge, it's even worse. Listen, I'm just here to report the information to you guys. You do with this information what you will. There are positive parts of Elizabeth Warren on tax policy and on Wall Street policy um, and on an infrastructure deal. She's great. But on foreign policy, man, this is such a giant blind spot, even bigger than I thought. And now you know the reason, too. Now, I don't think it's because of her taking defense contractor money, because I don't even know if she did. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. But what I think it really has to do with is, in her case, the actual jobs. She doesn't want Massachusetts to lose all these jobs tied to the military-industrial complex. Um, and that's, you know, it's funny because there are politicians who, it's just a matter of rank corruption. I'm sure there are Republicans who are like, yeah, Ro uh, Raytheon, Boeing, give me money. And then when I, when I run for re-election, re and then I'll look out for you. I don't give a fuck. That's some Republicans and probably some Democrats too. With Elizabeth Warren, I'm guessing it's more about I don't want there to be a lot of job loss in my state. But either way, it's fucked up, because either way, you end up supporting the war machine. And that, Liz, is not very progressive now, is it? So, just know the facts. Understand what her blind spots are, because they are large, and you do with that information whatever you will.